Hey guys, I'm Christina Howard, and for those of you that don't know, I have end-stage kidney disease. I came to you about a month ago on the eve of a surgery where I was about to get a catheter put inside my stomach so I could start peritoneal dialysis. It's one of two different types of dialysis that were available to me. Dialysis actually lets a machine work as a kidney because my kidneys are only working at about five to six percent. Yep, that's five to six percent. So a month ago I had the surgery and I got my catheter put inside my stomach and this is how it looks. It's a tube that runs right from in here. It's, it's fairly long. Um, goes out to here. This is a, a clamp because I use it now every day um, for peritoneal dialysis. And I've gone through training at the hospital in Brampton. Um, and now I am doing this at home. This is my machine. This is really, this is my kidney. And so every night I have to hook myself up to it. My prescription in particular uh, is for two of these bags. It's an eight hour long prescription. Um, so what I do is I take bags like this and I have to blend, they've got two different substances here. I have to blend them together and kind of pop it in the bag, which well, it isn't always the easiest thing to do. But I did that, blend them together. And then I hook them up to my machine. Now, it doesn't look like a very sanitary situation right now, but that's because all of the stuff that I really need to wear my face mask for and uh, have the dog out of the room for, I'm not going to be doing it. That demonstration would just seem to take far too long. But both of these essentially get put inside my stomach uh, overnight and they get drained out. And with that, they actually pull some of the toxins out doing the filtration that your kidneys would typically do for you. Um, downside is that it also filters out some of the good stuff like potassium and um, iron. So it means that I need to take supplements or have a more potassium iron rich diet in order to get those vital nutrients. But I hook myself up to this and I sleep with this and I have to do this for eight hours and nine minutes, but it really ends up being about nine hours every single day, seven days a week. And this is something that is experienced by tens of thousands of other Canadians, people that are waiting for a kidney. So this is my life, at least for right now. All of this stuff gets uh, sent to my house. It's convenient that way, but um, if I didn't do it at home, I'd have to go to the hospital and I wouldn't be able to do it every night and I wouldn't be able to feel as good as I do feel. It'll take a couple of weeks for it to really fully kick in and for me to really get the real benefits of, of this dialysis. But until then, or until I actually get a transplant, this is my life. So it's not just my life, it's life for tens of thousands of other Canadians. And I really encourage you, if you have a few minutes, to head to beadonor.ca and sign your organ donor card because you could save eight people's lives in just a couple of clicks. Thanks a lot.